friends, Quill here. Welcome back to the channel and our return finally to competitive content here on the channel. If you like competitive content, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already, just to make sure that you don't miss any of the action coming forward. If you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember way back when uh, we started to do some VGC sort of content on here, and uh, I've kind of fell away from that. Uh, especially school kind of picked up, but uh, today at least for for a little while I would like to pick that back up. I do have a whole new team last time if you remember we had the torque hole uh, And trick room team that did really really well until it stopped doing really really well. Here's the thing like I'm really good at, at uh, building teams and, and, and at breeding up and, and training the Pokemon, but uh, in terms of battling I sometimes get flustered uh, especially if I start to lose, but that's besides the point. Today we're going to get back into it. I've got a new team. All right, here is the team. Let me hide myself real quick so you don't have to see my face. And as you can see on your screen right now, uh, we've got a Rillaboom. Really, this this team centers around Rillaboom and Halucha. Rillaboom sets up the Grassy Surge, and Halucha, with its Unburden ability, gets its speed doubled uh, in that Grassy Terrain with the Grassy Seed uh, and can really wreak some havoc from there. Uh, the nice thing about this team is it doesn't take a lot of setup. Um, basically, you just get Halucha and Rillaboom in there together, and you're good to roll. Uh, we do have some trouble with other terrains, like Psychic Terrain especially, and so we've brought a Bisharp with Lash Out, just, just in case we need it. Um, also, Duraludon with Steel Beam does a lot of damage to Pokemon that uh, try to redirect, like things like Togekiss that like to use Follow Me, or uh, Pokemon like oh indeedy is another really really big one uh also it helps us a, a very common lead right now is indeedy and hatterene and duraludon takes out a gigantamaxed uh hatterene with a single steel beam with the choice specs so that that's the the justification for that set cinderace just hits really hard and kind of checks a lot of things that halucha can't really hit very well toxtricity is there to counter trick room so oftentimes he'll catch people off guard taunt them and then they are stuck without their trick room. And so yeah, that is the team. If you'd like to rent the team and try it out for yourself there, the team ID is down there at the bottom. I encourage you to do so. And if you do, let me know because I think that'd be really cool. All right, but without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into these ranked battles. Now, if you were watching the last time I got through here, yes, a new season has started since then. Uh, so our rank is reset. We're gonna start back down at the bottom. All right, here we go. Our first battle against this this man named Silver Card. Uh, okay, so we see eight typical sand team setup here. I do see the Togekiss, which makes me nervous, and also the Amoongus. Um, I don't know which Urshifu form that is, uh, but I'm just going to start off from, with Rillaboom, and because I see a bunch of things that can redirect, I'm going to put Duraludon in second. Uh, beyond that, I'm going to obviously bring Halucha. That's kind of the point of the team. And then Cinderace does really well against a lot of these Pokemon on this on this opposing team. So I hope that we can do pretty well here. Um, I, it's kind of funny that we don't start out with a... Oh yeah, I, I redid my, my trainer card, which I'm really proud of. I like that. I dressed up a little bit for my return to competitive. But uh, let's see what, what Silver Card has to show. All right, we see the Excadrill Drill Trimandatar, so that's very unsurprising. Um, kind of expected, honestly, to see the sand, sand Stream lead. All right, so we're going to kick up a Sandstorm here. That's not terribly fun. I kind of wish I would have led with Halucha uh, just to get rid of this Tyranitar early on. Uh, but I can go for the Fake Out here into the Excadrill slot. And then I'm going to try to Steel Beam that Tyranitar. I really hope that I can do enough damage. Um, to knock it out. If it Dynamaxes, I don't think I can take it out. If it doesn't Dynamax, I should be okay. All right, and they do end up Dynamaxing. I'm guessing the Tyranitar, which means we might be seeing a uh, weakness policy go off here, which would not be the best. Uh, in fact, it is the Tyranitar. Okay, that's really terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Halucha should take this thing out no problem if we don't survive the turn. But here, a fake us off is going to go off uh, onto the... The, oh, what's it called? Excadrill. Right, right, right. Uh, it doesn't do any damage, basically. But it does flinch it. Steel Beam almost knocks out the Tyranitar. That is so, so close. Um, obviously, we do get hit there with that uh, recoil. But, on the bright side, uh, the Tyranitar is not going to be able to do much more. 
Uh, Riddle of Doom does, takes that actually better than, takes the, the max knuckle better than I would have thought. Unfortunately, there is that, that attack raise that we see. Nothing we can't handle, though. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Grassy Glide is a new move that was introduced, and it actually has priority, meaning it'll go first if there is uh, Grassy Terrain active, which there is right now. That's why Rillaboom is such a good Pokemon, uh, right right now, in the format at least. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Grassy Glide before this Excadrill can knock me out. Uh, and at the same time, I guess I'll just go ahead and Steel Beam the Excadrill, see if I can get a, any damage off on that. I doubt, I bet... I bet any amount of money the extra drill is going to knock out my Duraludon before I can do that. But see, we, he we see here that the Grassy Glide takes out the Tyranitar, which is super nice. Glad to have that Dynamax out of the way. That's a really big threat off the field, I'm not going to lie to you. This is one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for with this team. Um, when I put it together, I really didn't necessarily intend for it to take on Sandstorm so well. But it tends to take on Sandstorm extremely well. Uh, really happy about that. Ooh, that, that Steel Beam almost took the Excadrill out. I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, Excadrill's not known for its special defense or anything, but still a lot of damage. I'm happy with it. Halucha is the obvious switch in here. What are they going to send out? That's my question, though. <clears throat> and they send out the Urshifu, which is terrifying. It is the water-type version. You can tell because it kind of sways around like the water. <laughs> Um, I am just going to Dynamax and go for the Max Knuckle on the Excadrill because that thing scares the ever-loving Christmas out of me. <laughs> we'll Steel Beam the Urshifu, although I doubt we'll live to see that go off. I don't know, I guess it really kind of depends on the Excadrill and whether or not it outspeeds Halucha, which I don't believe that it does. Halucha is really fast, and then you throw the Unburden on top of it, and there's barely any chance for it to uh, outspeed there. We are going to get the Big Bird here. I don't know, is Halucha a bird? It's kind of a bird. Either way, it's a big bird now. <laughs> I think it's based off of a hawk, so yeah, it would be considered a bird. But, you know, Pokemon are a little bit wacky that way. Alright, so we do outspeed. We go for the Max Knuckle here. That Excadrill is going to be vaporized entirely. We love to see it. We love to see it. <clears throat> Alright. So the Excadrill is down. That's super good for us. Uh, Urshifu uses Thunder Punch. Wow, okay. Well, I did not expect... I thought that they would they would target the Duraludon for sure. Uh, but in fact, we are able to get off a third Steel Beam. So honestly, Duraludon is never supposed to do that much work in a single game. I'm actually a little bit surprised uh, at how well it did in this particular matchup. Um, but I think we should be good... Uh, since Cinderace is our last Pokemon to just wrap this battle up very quickly. Alright, and so their last Pokemon is a Togekiss, which scares me to death, if we're being honest about it. I'm a little bit afraid of an Aqua Jet on my Cinderace, uh, but not afraid enough to just avoid... I'm going to target down the Togekiss, I think. Or maybe that's not the best idea, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go for the Zen Headbutt, I think, on the Togekiss. Because we're, we're dealing with the Water-type Urshifu, and I'm, I'm Choice Banded on my Cinderace, by the way. Uh, so we'll see how much this does. It'll laser defense, which would be nice. Togekiss is down. Wow. I don't think I've... When I was testing on Smogon, or on Showdown, rather, I think that I didn't kill Togekiss outright, but I do have an attack race, so maybe that's that's what happened. Uh, we get the Zen Headbutt off here. We see Cinderace's Libero, which is great. Uh, changes its type to whatever move it's using. It's, it's basically like uh, Greninja's Protean. Really, really good, especially the Choice Band. And we win our first battle, so... I'm excited about that. That was a good first battle. I, I think it showed off what the team is meant to do, and I think that's really exciting. So without further ado, I'll meet you on the second battle. Okay, and here we have a second team. Looks like a very defensive team. Uh, one that depends very heavily on setting up the uh, Trick Room. Uh, we see the Primarina, which has been a very... Primarina and... and Marowak have been both very potent Trick Room uh, Pokemon, Sweepers rather, in this current metagame. Uh, we see the Slow King, which is t probably meant to set the Trick Room. Uh, for that, to that end rather, I'm going to bring the Toxtricity to taunt it, uh, along with Rillaboom to start off. Um, and then, let's see, what goes next? Definitely Halucha, we want to bring that. It does 
decently well here, although not the greatest. Uh, and then Bisharp rounds out the team pretty well, I think. Uh, it's got a lot of... it's. My opponent's team is very weak to dark types, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to get something off here. Uh, what is their name? VVC is who we're, who we're facing, and he's number 32 also. I wonder if he's a dentist. <laughs> That's where my number 32 comes from, if you haven't been around the channel for quite as long. Um, I do have the number 32 because there are 32 teeth in the mouth, and I'm going to dental school, so... <laughs> That's how that goes. All right, so we see the lead here with the Galarian Slowbro and Slow King. Um, kind of scary, but in the end, I'm actually not too terrified of this this start off. I'm gonna go ahead and taunt the Slow King like I said I would. I think it's very obviously going to set up the um, Trick Room, and I'm just gonna fake out the Slowbro to buy myself some time. All right, so we see Fake Out go off here on the Slowbro. Which is going to faint it. We're going to taunt our little friend here, the Slow King. Oh, it actually attacked. Okay, so it did go for the Ice Beam. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised there. I definitely thought that it would be attacking. But we do have the uh, Assault Vest on our Rillaboom. So we're able to take that Ice Beam extremely well. Uh, I, I honestly didn't even expect it to take it that well. Uh, we are just going to go for the Overdrive here. Uh, Toxtricity really handles, handles this person's team pretty decently. We're going to go ahead and knock off the Slowbro uh, just to get some damage off on it. Maybe I should have taunted the Slowbro in case it tries to set up Trick Room. I'm not sure. Uh, but here goes the Overdrive. That should do a crap ton of damage to both of them. Yep, yep, yep. And then we see the knockoff on the Slowbro. Should knock it out. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. I was afraid that Slowbro might try to set up the... Okay, so they have the Quick Claw. I'm surprised the Quick Claw didn't activate either time. Um, typically, <laughs> you know, I'd expect it to because it's against me. We're gonna see everyone get some healing here. That's that's another good thing about the grassy terrain is that my Pokemon heal a little bit every turn, um, which you know, like psychic terrain teams don't get. Out comes the Marowak. Marowak is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon ever. Just like fantastic. I love its design and. Y'all probably know that from the last time I talked about it. Uh, but I am actually going to switch out here because I'm afraid of that Lightning Rod. Uh, Bisharp... Uh, I don't know if Bisharp comes in. Uh, let's see, we've got Toxtricity. It's probably going to go for a Ground-type attack, so we're going to bring out Halucha in that slot. And uh, we're going to go ahead and knock off that Slow King. Might be able to take it out because Slow King is a more, more of a special defensive tank uh, than physical. Halucha comes out... Gets a little bit of that grassy seed, ups its defense, which is actually more useful than you'd think. Uh, obviously, people don't think of Halucha as a very defensive Pokemon, but uh, it does really well with with a, just a single defense boost. And then if you, you use the max steel max steel spike to up its defense even further, uh, we see a flare blitz go off on the Rillaboom. There's no way I'm living that. <laughs> not this not this year anyway. <clears throat> And that is, okay, so it's not Rockhead, it is in fact the, the Lightning Rod, which means switching out there was the good idea, as opposed to just going for the Volt Switch. I do want to switch into my Bisharp here. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm honestly pretty afraid of Marowak. Uh, I'm going to Dynamax, I'm going to Max Airstream the Amoogus and hope that I kill. And then I'm actually going to use the Lash Out, because I'm, I'm expecting the Amoogus to go for Rage Powder, which would make me... Uh, target it, and if I use Sucker Punch, obviously, um, Sucker Punch only goes through if your opponent is planning to attack. Uh, Rage Powder is not an attack, therefore the move would fail. No fun. Wait a second. Did I? I didn't Dynamax, did I? Or did I? Yes, I did remember to Dynamax. That's good. <laughs> if I hadn't, then, then my strategy might have fallen apart a little bit there. Um, it just kind of comes down to whether or not my opponent recognizes that Halucha is the bigger threat on the field. Although, uh, what's it called? Oh, geez. Although Bisharp is a bigger issue, probably for his his uh, Marowak, my Halucha is just going to get boost after, boost after boost after boost. Um, we don't see the Rage Powder here, which is really interesting. I really expected to see that. Amoogus goes down, which is super great. We're down to just the Marowak on the other side of the field. The tricky thing is, though, that uh, 
Wow, I really like that animation. Okay, Merrimack goes down. That's good, because I don't think that our Toxtricity would be able to deal with the Merrimack very well. Okay, so that's a pretty good win. Uh, we've got pretty two pretty good wins under our belt uh, for today. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the third battle. Okay, here we are again with our third and final battle of the day. Uh, we are up to rank two, by the way, so things are going to be a little bit tougher than before. But uh, I think we, we definitely lead with Rillaboom Toxtricity. I think that is our best bet, because here's the thing. If Toxtricity can't taunt the Bronze... Or if they don't lead with a Bronzong, rather, obviously I can't taunt with it. Uh, but it will be able to... I wonder if Halucha is even the best bet here. Um, it does a lot of damage. I think it's, it's the right thing to bring. Um, and then I'm going to bring Cinderace because it's... Mm, I don't want to bring Bisharp. I'm kind of tempted to bring Duraludon because the Mudsdale scares me. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Duraludon against perhaps my better judgment. <sighs> okay, Kevy, let's do this. I don't know. I think we might actually lose this one just because it looks like a really good team. Oh, look at them. They're posing with Leon. Gotta love it. <clears throat> I love this music. This is one of, one of the best tracks in the game, in my opinion. I can't quite remember which track it is. Okay, so Gengar and Luxray. Not what I was expecting to see lead off, but that's totally fine. Uh, if there's an Intimidate here. I'm not going to be too, too excited about it. Yeah, okay. I know Luxray carries, Luxray carries Intimidate, but sometimes people would prefer to carry Guts. We do get the Grassy Surge up, which is super duper nice. Um, what do I do in the situation? That's That's the question, though. I think I go for the high... No, I want to fake out the Lux Ray. And then we'll go ahead and uh, overdrive, I guess. I think we're going to overdrive everybody. See what happens with that. I'm a little bit upset they didn't leave the Trick Room because I definitely prepared for it. Okay, what do we do? What do we see? Okay, so they're going to Dynamax. I believe that is the Gengar. It would make more sense if they Dynamax their Gengar. I kind of hope they do because I faked out their Lux Ray. Yeah, okay, it's Gigantamax. Gigantamax. Uh, Gengar, which is kind of bad because it means that we might not be able to switch depending on which move they go for. Uh, their, their max move basically enacts Shadow Tag. Uh, we are going to get the Fake Out here off on the Lux Ray. So we won't be able to move G-Max Tear. Okay, I was a little bit afraid that it would go for the, the Poison-type Z-move. Z Jeez. The Poison-type max move and raise its own special attack, but instead they've opted to go and trap us all. We do get the overdrive off. Not gonna do too, too much damage. Luxray's got the leftovers, which is interesting. Must be more of a uh, support kind of set, I guess. I think I'm gonna go for this Volt Switch here on the Gengar. Try to get out if I can. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to switch out if I can. Okay, uh, we see Luxray go for a Protect here, which is fine. Um, I wasn't too, too concerned with, with Max Ooze, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of the Max Ooze going off on Rillaboom and just knocking it straight out, but it doesn't because we've got that uh, that Assault Vest, which is super nice, coming in clutch there. Uh, we do see that they're faster though, so I'm not gonna wanna go for the High Horsepower next turn. I'm going to want to get some damage off with a Grassy Glide before my Rillaboom goes down. Uh, do I wanna go into Duraludon here, or is Halucha the move? Um. See, I'm tempted to go into Halucha just because it gets me my... Yeah, it gets me my Grassy Seed off, which which I kind of need for Halucha to do its job correctly. Uh, we do outspeed for certain, so we are going to be able to knock out this uh, Gengar pretty quick. Man, this Luxray is annoying. I'm not seeing it do anything except Protect yet. Uh, Rillaboom does heal a little bit, so we might actually be able to get a high horsepower off. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Uh, that might not be the best option, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go to Max Airstream, the Gengar. That should take it out of there and raise Rillaboom's speed enough to actually be able to do something in the next turn. Okay, so we're going to do our, our Gigantamax here. I forgot about the Luxray. I hope that it doesn't do anything too, too terrible. Uh, it is an electric type, so it's going to be super effective with its stab move. Um, but Halucha's got a defense boost, so I think we should be okay. Let's see. We should be able to get the Max Airstream off. We should go first, right? Yeah, okay. Get the Max Airstream off. That should take out the Gengar, no problem. Good. I was... <laughs> Listen, if I hadn't taken it out, I would have been so, so surprised. 
pretty upset too because that would have been pretty awful. Um, but our speed does go up. That means we should outspeed the Luxray no matter what. Uh, get off that high horsepower, do some super effective damage, and hopefully take it. I, I doubt we'll take it out because of the attack drop, but... Okay, a lot of damage though. A lot of damage. Luxray used Roar. Okay, so they're trying to phase me out, but I'm Dynamax, so they can't do that. That's fine. Okay, out comes Togekiss. Okay, that's honestly pretty terrifying. Um, I hate, I hate, I hate dealing with Togekiss. Uh, but we are going to go for the Grassy Glide on Luxray. Hopefully knock it out, and then we can go for the Max Airstream on Togekiss. They've already Dynamax, so they can't do it again, which is, which is nice. I like that. I don't know if this will knock out the Togekiss. It kind of depends on um, its defense investment and HP. All right, here it goes. Luxray protects. I kind of expected that. Um, that's fine, because we get a little bit more uh, healing on our Rillaboom next turn. Is it going to go for... Okay. Wait, Max Airstream. I meant to go for... Oh, man. That's bad. Oh, I meant to go for the Max Steel Spike. Ah, uh, that could cost me. I don't think it'll cost me the game. No, but it'll make me really, really annoyed. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we're going to fall asleep next turn, which really kind of stinks. I'm not excited about that at all. Oh, jeez. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go for the high horsepower on Luxray, and we're going to go for the max steel spike this time on Togekiss, although I'm having... Yeah, no, that's what we're going to do. All I can hope is that maybe they knock out my, my Halucha this turn. Or maybe I take down both of their Pokemon because honestly, Duraludon can can take on any one Pokemon pretty well. I'm I'm assuming. All right, so they go with the Follow Me, which is actually a really bad play because my Halucha is going to go first and knock it out anyway. So they wasted their Togekiss essentially. Um, yeah, that Togekiss was never going to live that. And then the high horsepower will go off on the Luxray, which definitely is not outspeeding anything at this point. Um, and with the attack, oh, defense raise. Whoops. <laughs> I almost went for the max knuckle there, that's why I thought it was an attack raise, but... High horsepower is going to go off, and knocks out the luck, sorry, okay, we should be fine. Between Rillaboom, um, and Duraludon, because as you know, uh, Halucha's about to fall asleep because of the stupid yawn. But that's fine. I didn't have to, if we had gone for the, uh, max steel spike, perhaps we would have gotten off another attack, but... All right, so they send out the Rillaboom, uh, a Rillaboom of their own. <clears throat> Rillaboom's not going to be able to beat Halucha at all, so I think we've got this in the bag. But I don't want to, I don't want to be too, too confident because Rillaboom, Rillaboom can surprise you. If it's like Choice Band, it can do a whole bunch of damage to Halucha. Uh, I do want to knock off whatever it's got, whatever it, item it's holding. I do want to knock it off really fast. And Acrobatics is my best bet. Uh, I, I'm not going to wake up this turn. I have to, I have to burn a turn of sleep at least. Uh, but we do get a knockoff off, and we know that it's not invested in speed because we outsped it. Uh, Rillaboom goes for Drain Punch here, which is actually kind of scary. Uh, we did take the edge off. We would not have lived that. It is a critical hit. We would not have lived that if we had not uh, knocked off its its choice band. Uh, but yeah, I think this, this battle is pretty well in the game. It's just a matter of, of waiting for Alucha to wake up and attack it. <laughs> I have really nothing better to do except for go for the... Grassy Glide here, and then Acrobatics try to wake up Halucha. I doubt it'll happen, but yeah, that's the only bad thing about Rillaboom without uh, Drain Punch or Hammer Arm is that I, I can't really attack R other Rillaboom very well. But down goes our Rillaboom. I think this one is, is probably invested in attack and HP. Uh, oh, I forgot that Toxtricity was still in the game. Toxtricity can end this, no problem. Um, I am afraid of the, gra the Grassy Glide. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to go off here, but I might be able to wake up. Um, and if I do wake up, in fact, the Acrobatics is just going to take Rillaboom out, no problem. Uh, yeah, they go for Grassy Glide. That's going to knock out my, my Toxtricity. But really, Toxtricity was kind of there to, to uh, divert his attention anyway. To give Pelucha some time to wake up, which it doesn't do. Super upsetting. <laughs> but it's okay. We, we can still bring this one home. It's just going to take a while to get there. 
<clears throat> it's not going to appreciate a choice specs uh choice specs what's this draco meteor it, it will not ex like that at all but uh steel beam the better option steel beam is not the better option we're just going to go ahead and go for uh the choice specs draco meteor and that's if halucha doesn't wake up which it does and should be the game right yeah okay there we go we are three for three today that's awesome awesome we are lower ladder uh so so it's to be expected that that, that we would win more than we would lose uh, but a 3-0 is always a good sign for things to come. Okay, so once again, here is the team up on the screen. If you want to give it, a, give it another look, uh, basically everybody is invested in um, speed and their uh, either attack or special attack, depending on which Pokemon it is. Um, except for Rillaboom, Rillaboom instead of speed, I, I invested uh, entirely in HP and then gave it a little bit of speed to outspeed other max or other zero speed Rillaboom. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually pretty pretty pleased with how this team did today. Uh, let me know down below if, if you see anything that you could think would be better about the team. Uh, I plan on bringing it back on Wednesday for another battle. But um, yeah, comment down below. If there's a specific Pokemon you'd like to see in one of these videos, I can try to make it work. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just going to sit here and have fun. And whoever watches, watches. And whoever doesn't, doesn't. But <laughs> at any rate, uh, that'll do it for, for today, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, see you next time.